Hey guys, welcome to SARD and Programming. This episode's gonna be a little bit different in that it's not just going to be an hour of speed programming. We're gonna solve some problems today and we're gonna talk about them. First of all, I made a uh, some weird complexity here with the scale. I thought it would be cool if the game would run in, f in full HD and then uh, I would be scalable to half of that resolution so that I can run in, in beautiful full HD on the phone and in half that on the computer but it's I really don't like the complexity in the rendering code so I'm just going to go ahead and delete the scale there and be done with that completely so instead we're gonna we're gonna um, take the resolution down to just about half of that full HD. This brings us to the second problem that I want to address. Uh, right now the world is the entire screen. Um, and that's that's not good because the uh, sum of the screen or a portion of the screen is uh, the uh, the bottom of the sea, uh, the sand. And so fish can't go there and nothing can even go, nothing can go there. And so it makes no sense that it's that it's part of the world. Actually, I don't even. No, we we definitely need the world. It's just uh, zero zero should be uh, above the river bed. Zero zero should be s somewhere a fish can actually go. So let's remove the scale here first. And now we have the world defined in meters, <laughs> pixels per meter. Maybe that should be. Uh, in all caps as well. Great, so now the world white, white, that's difficult to say, um, is the entire screen white in meters, and then the height should be the screen height in minus the river or the, the, the seabed which is one tile high I just defined that um, and now in our fish renderer we should make sure to draw fish at the correct position that's fine um, in the world maybe we have this bounce test that I am not very happy with. Uh, this should be taken out or something. Something should be done about this um, because this t only applies to the player fish. We don't want it to apply to other fish. They should be swimming in from the sides. Uh, so, oh, this was the. Uh, the the seabed check uh, that was a bit weird as well so now if if the fish's x is lower than no it's a y it's if it's lower than than zero then it should just be zero so that means the fish cannot go into the seabed we can mark this seabed test. Great. Fish should be also uh, rendered at their uh, correct position. It's not happening right now. Let me show you why. Uh, often uh, things are rendered 
uh, at their bottom left coordinate and that's true in this case as well and I didn't do anything to fix it uh, but we are going to do that right now we're not just going to take the bottom left X because this X should be uh, the center of the fish this X and Y so we need to make sure that it draws as if this X and Y is the center of the fish to do that we should make sure that fish also uh, have bounds and this is of course in meters let's make this fish half a meter times half a meter and make sure we have some getters and now in the fish renderer we can add whoops before we multiply by the pixels to meters so we can do the entire calculation in meters and then convert to pixels the very last bit uh, it should be the x minus the fish's width and then half of that so you'll see if the position of the fish is in here and we need to specify it to the GPU uh, to draw the image right here that would be a difference of half a fish width to get here so we're subtracting half a fish width and we should also be uh, subtracting half a fish height we'll do that here So now it should be a little bit better. And it is. Great. I also... Uh, there was a problem with the animation before that. I didn't like the way the fish uh, was animated. And that's because I made it dependent on uh, velocity. So I would take the velocity vector uh, for the fish and then um, if it was greater than a threshold value, then it would uh, animate in the direction, in the general direction of that velocity. But that's uh, that doesn't feel right because fish don't swim. Or f uh, how should I put this? This is difficult to put. When when a fish is swimming, it's uh, changing its acceleration. Uh, when it's when it's moving its tail, it's accelerating. Right. So and I also have this we're also keeping track of the acceleration and it makes sense that when the fish is moving it's changing its acceleration so instead of being dependent on velocity it should be dependent on acceleration so I went ahead and did that off screen so that's why the the fish animation feels a little bit better now than it did um, before hmm it still has a problem though where it uh, where it refaces to write. I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. Uh, I want to fix the seabed first though. So let's take a look at what's causing that. This should be tile size instead. We changed it. Now that works. Beautiful! Our fish is swimming everything is good it is still printing a bunch of values oh the x and y oh we can see if the if the world has decent uh, coordinates maybe if we uh, if my goal was to to make zero zero an habitable place for a fish so let's see if we can initialize a fish to that position and see if it's still fine. Uh, let's 
make that fish at zero zero. It is not fine. Hmm, why not? That is, of course, because we did not take into account that the seabed is no longer part of the world. So for every y value, we need to make sure that we plus a tile size onto the values of the fish position. Now this is the lowest you can go, uh, maybe that's not, maybe that's not the best actually, I think this is because our images here are, it's not, yeah, well, that doesn't make any sense, why is it here? I don't get it! <laughs> What am I doing? I'm rendering fish at tile size. That's not correct. I should get the fish's width and then multiply by pixels per meter because the fish's size is specified in meters. There we go. That should be much more accurate. Wow, and we do. It's it's beautiful. It's a little tiny tiny fish. Wow, that's great. Maybe the maybe the fish should be a little bit bigger. Maybe we should make it 1 meter. It's not really very big at all. 5 meters. Yeah, that's better. Five meters. Maybe it should. Maybe it's centimeters we're dealing with here. I think it might be centimeters. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, I think that f that fixes the the coordinate problem, and now the fish can go uh, with its center being at zero zero. That's great. It's absolutely fabulous. And then maybe, if, yeah, so screen transitions still work. Um, last thing I want to fix this video should be the, the weird texture refacing. I think the problem is down here in the get sprite method. I only have these two cases here for acceleration if it's under zero. and it's not flipped, that means the ex if the acceleration is under zero, that means the fish is, is accelerating towards the left. And then it should be flipped. As If it's not flipped in this instance, then, f then we flip it. We have the reverse scenario down here. I wonder if it's a problem with the... Uh, I wonder if, it, if it'll fix it. If I make a special case for acceleration equals zero. Maybe we should... Um, we should try to debug this. Fish flipped left. You can try to keep track of where the fish is being flipped. It's definitely being flipped back at a point where it shouldn't be. So let's see. We have the first flip there. 
We should make this smaller so we can see what we're doing. Fish flip right, fish flip left. It's really weird that it displays. Oh, it's because it isn't animating. It's when it's not animating. Great. Oh, okay. So why is the... What kind of texture... The flipping obviously works with the animation. Right? When, we're, when it's animated, it's fine. But then once I let go of the button and it's not animated anymore, it flips back. Wonder what that is. Oh, of course, when whenever I let go of the button, uh, we can see this in the controller, whenever the button is lifted, we reset the acceleration. Means we, we set the acceleration to zero, right? So that means neither of these cases are going to work. How do we fix that? I think what we're gonna do to fix this problem is add a facing uh, enumeration. So, the fish can either be facing left or it can be facing right. When we start, face should just be right, and then we can keep track of the facing and the update method instead of doing uh, all this logic down here in the get sprite method. So this is a state machine. We can do it right here underneath. If the acceleration is below zero, that means we are swimming right, so the face should be set to, I mean left, of course. And in the other instance, it should be facing right. There we go. I will go in and clean this logic up. I know the physics is a little off. Um, first of all, this isn't friction. This is it's called drag when it's in water, and it's implemented in a way that's not uh, great for the mechanics I want to implement, and it's not really true to how it works either. Uh, when the fish swims, there's still drag. So the there is drag in the real world, but it's easier to manage in a game if you if you don't slow down an entity that's trying to speed up. We can deaccelerate de when the when the fish is not actively accelerating. We can we can slow it down that way. It's gonna be a bit better, but that's gonna be a topic for next time, I think. I am gonna clean this up though. Then in the get sprite here, we still want to keep track of what state the we still want to look at what state the fish is in. Uh, however, uh, we are now flipping it according to uh, the facing. If face, let's see if we can do this right. Don't think we need the debugging anymore. These are only the cases in which the fish should be flipped if it is not flipped. Right, if we're facing left and it's the, f the image is not f facing left, we're flipping it. I think this should work. See? Yeah, it does work. Also, I just noticed the controller is a little weird. I think the way I ended up 
implementing the controller is not satisfactory either. So there's a lot to do. I think this is going to be it for this time though. Thank you for watching my video.